My name is Jason Snell, and my thesis is called Ecstasy and Dissolution. Uh, warning, there's flashing lights, and you may experience loss of time, space, and self, so you've been warned. While watching this, did you feel restless? Did you get impatient? These are the sensations at the first stage of moving towards a theta state. I create a sound design that guides people into a state. It's between consciousness and unconsciousness. It's a waking dream state. I implemented this design in a series of sound baths using real-time heart and brainwave activity to shape the music. I started this work in 2018. Uh, I use a Muse EG headset. I create the software and it sonifies my live brain and heart activity. It turns it into music. And this project merged three parallel paths in my life. First was computer programming. Since 1989, this gave me the ability to create my own worlds. And electronic music. I got my first drum machine in 95, and this gave me a way to express my feelings in my art. And meditation. So I started meditating in 1996, and this was a way that I could explore consciousness. So these three all satisfied a deep curiosity of the unknown and a desire to learn more about my thoughts, emotions, and my mind. And these are the things that prepared me for my exploration of brainwave music and EEG art. In 2019, I started um, performing with this uh, software that I created. I did a techno tour. My background is in techno. So the first iteration was doing techno shows uh, with my brain. So not touching the equipment, but everything from brain activity. Unexpectedly, I started having these transcendent experiences, really profound moments of ego dissolution and ecstasy, and this was totally sober. And I'd never had these types of experiences before in 25 years of uh, performances. So I knew that there was something really special there. And so when I came to NYU in 2022, I went to research, what were these phenomena and are they repeatable? Are they repeatable in me and are they repeatable in other people? I focused in on one really special phenomenon after reviewing my journals and videos uh, of my previous performances. What would convince you go to an industrial part of town, enter a dark, abandoned warehouse filled with strangers, you stand in the middle of the crowd, and you close your eyes? What would convince you to do that? What that is would be a repetitive beat. That's the one ingredient that convinces people to do that on a weekend basis. Uh, so I started research on repetitive beats. That was the key ingredient in the transcendent experiences I had uh, during my 2019 tour. And that's been a, a key part of my uh, music the last 25 years. So I researched it. There's a wonderful book called On Repeat uh, by Elizabeth Margulis. And I looked at ancient Mayan drumming rituals all the way up to warehouse techno, which we've seen. And what it does is it induces a trance state. And I was curious, what is this trance state that people fall into when listening to uh, this repeating beat? I started performing experiments. Um, I did this one hour experiment where I literally listened to this beat, this heartbeat, blood flow type of sound. No nothing changed for an entire hour. And what does my brain do? I talked to different neuroscientists and I learned about uh, the brain waves that um, are at different amplitudes uh, in different mental states. And I used the EEG to track my brain wave states during this one hour experiment. This was the result. So for the first 10 minutes, I was in beta, which is what I'm in now. So problem solving, 
Beta, when it hears a repetitive beat that doesn't change, starts to get restless and impatient and irritable. And then around 10 minutes, I started to relax into a meditative state, and that's called alpha. And then for the rest of the hour, I dipped down into this really special brain state. It's called theta, so it's the slowest frequency here. I felt cozy and safe. My mind began to dream. I had access to my subconscious, and this is the trance state that people were talking about in those mind rituals and in the techno uh, shows, and all the repetitive beat phenomena in between that. That's theta. And so my goal was, can I create a sound design that can get people right to that line between conscious and unconscious? So my sound design, I found several different uh, attributes which helped me create the design. And this is the product of my thesis work. First one is a 404 beat. So uh, using that Muse headset, I use uh, my heartbeat from the device. I find that a uh, slow heartbeat around 40 to 80 BPM helps induce a trance. Repeating notes, so similar to Terry Riley and Stephen Reich, having these uh, repetitive loops and repetitive notes helps induce a trance. Uh, when we were in Berlin, we saw some work by James Terrell, and the light, he is a lighting artist, and his lights would change so slowly you wouldn't notice the moment that the color had changed. So I took that idea, I called the Terrell time scale, and applied it to sound, so that the sounds change so slowly you don't perceive when it changes. Uh, heavy reverb, so in the field of psychoacoustics, reverb is an effect that makes something sound far away, and so if something's far away, your mind can relax because it's not an immediate threat. And soft dynamics, so this is using EQ and filters, softening the attack on a sound, and it helps the sound not have hard edges or be abrasive, but it's a softer sound. So when you heard that heartbeat, it wasn't a sharp kick, but more of a And this one is really interesting. It's increasing simplicity. So as my mind goes from beta to alpha to theta, uh, and it gets closer to a dream state, it wants to be left alone in order to have space to start dreaming and creating its own sound. And so my soundscapes, as I get deeper into a theta state, they actually get simpler and simpler. They start complex and they become more and more simple. And because of that, this is the key finding from my research, is this really beautiful sensory and subconscious collaboration. So my conscious mind, because I'm still awake, hears the music from the sound system and then from my unconscious, as I'm starting to dream, starts producing its own sounds. So the sounds from my dreams and the sounds from the sound system start to collaborate and make its own uh, special music. I started a series of biosensor sound baths, and my goal was to create a sound design that effectively brought people into this theta state. Using two biometrics, which I mentioned before, from that headband, so it's uh, my brainwave activity and my heart activity. And the output is multi-sensory. So we've got sound, also got light. So the light flashes with my heart and the color changes with my brainwave state. And also haptics. So I use these really large subwoofers. So the heartbeat and the bass come in these big, loud bass waves and hit people's bodies. So it's a very soothing. It feels like you're in a womb. I changed the audience expectations from my previous experiences with techno shows. So at techno shows, uh, people were expected to stand and watch me attentively as I had a transcendent or a subconscious experience. And so the shift was, what if everyone was invited to close their eyes, lie down, relax, and have their own subconscious experience, you know, their own dive into that trance theta. Feedback from some of these shows, it was, all these are characteristic of the theta state. So loss of time. Someone said, I was shocked to find an hour had passed. It felt more like 15 minutes loss of space, I forgot where in the room I was or what position I was in, and then loss of self or ego dissolution. It's where you start to feel a part of the group or of other people. And this was far out. He said, I dissolved out of my body and into the audience. I thought I was lying next to you and co-regulating my heart with yours. I felt like I became you. As far as I know, he was sober. <laughs> Uh, next steps uh, is multiple sensors. So what if I put sensors not just on me, but several different audience members and becomes this collaborative, blurring the lines of authorship. I'm interested in doing collaborations with other artists who have reached out to me, and then also to explore health applications. So if I can effectively bring people into a theta state, that's really valuable to neural therapists.
Thank you.